Good morning, everybody. It's 4.41 a.m. August 25th. All right, people. Um, did a little research, and I'm sending this out to the general public. Is you guys got to realize there's something very definitely absolutely wrong with the coin base. Okay? You had three uh, senior executives left in six months. One of them I spoke to was uh, Adam White. Uh, he picked up the phone and asked me, since I was calling so much, what was going on. Of course, I explained to him about what was going on with Litecoin. I think it was just a confirmation of something he knew. Bang, he's gone. Uh, there was another guy that he actually hired called Hunter Migrant. He resigned just being there six months. Plus, you got all of these people resigning. It's 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 actually been brought up on Reddit two months ago. Something's absolutely wrong inside that company. If they can't keep qualified staff running the company, uh, Mr. Regret resigned. He said because there was ju everything was just a mess. Two people that knew him said he left there because just things are not uh, running too well. If you can catch his drift. Now, they're going to trial also. Let's speak about the lawsuits they got on. Okay. This is the one with Cripsy. This is the most serious charge I've seen. Uh, Big Vern from Cripsy took all his clients, Bitcoin, Ethereum, transferred it over to Coinbase, sold them out, and then left. So this is an outright charge of money, money laundering. Okay. Then you have uh, Fosse versus Coinbase, where if I were to buy somebody a gift of Bitcoin and put it in the, you know, the email address, somebody said to me, uh, you know, uh, if Bitcoin goes up to 20000 then I'll claim it and cash it out. Fine. You know, here's the start. They go into to claim their Bitcoin, and it's not there. Coinbase decided, unclaimed coin. It was an unclaimed coin. It was coin that was given to somebody, set up an account for them, that they can go in and finish setting up the account anytime they want it. There was no limit on that account. How Coinbase can go in there and take it, that's a sense of, of entitlement beyond the human range of thought. Okay, so that's, they stole that. And then on this case, of course, you know, I just explained that one. Beck versus Coinbase is uh, the BCH. The debacle when they launched it cost the people a lot of money, forced them to buy coin. They couldn't cancel their buys, and they ended up buying the coin at 4,400 4, when the rest of the market was like 1,100 and plunging. Okay. Uh, the, the executives that let, let, left are Don Romero, Adam White, Kristen Slater, Andrew, uh, Andrew Ridnauer. Now, now that he worked there uh, a year and a half. He was originally from the CFTC. Well, he went back to the CFTC. I catch my drift, people here. My understanding. And this other guy, Hunter McGear, is was included in there, but he's also. Now on the LTC front, I have four lawyers that want to represent us in the civil law case. Uh, Denon Associates, um, uh, lawyer's last name is McGear, uh, Rowan Gateworth, and uh, Linda Grant. Uh, I don't know if Linda Grant wants it because she's busy, but I keep her there in the suit, Grant Associates. Two of them, one of them wants a written statement, one of them seen a video statement, uh, the one I'm going to visit on Monday, who's at 200 Liberty Street, I gave him a video statement and they said, come in the office right away. Because I, I think since he works in, uh, formerly at FINRA, he understood what I was showing him uh, more than the other t t three lawyers. 
you know, he had a deeper understanding. As soon as he spotted that, he's like, get your ass in here, 10 a.m. Monday morning. Make it in and get in here. He goes, I want this case. They, they tell him, you want this case. Uh, and then Thursday, I was called down to, uh, called to a meeting with the New York Department of Financial Services on the same data that I shared with them. Usually, the New York Department of Financial Services is a letter and they forget about you. They didn't forget about me. They called me into the office. This is very serious now. And they explained the whole scam this market maker was running. They took down all the information. There was two lawyers. One of them is a crypto expert. He understood what I was talking about right away on manipulating the price to gain a larger spread for the market maker. He understood that right away. Then out of the blue, they came out with the question, what do you know about the 25,160 BTC dump on June 3rd? And we started talking about that, though that was out of the range of what they went there for. So after I left, I sent them an email. Okay, here is, I, I actually archived all that 25,160 Bitcoin dump. I archived that from beginning to end because people were complaining about it. It came over Whale Watch, I caught it, and I wanted to see what a dump looks like. Of course, I have Whale Watches showed me the uh, whale's address. And, and the Coinbase address that it went to, I got that, so I sent them half of that. But I told them, I want the Litecoin taken care of. As a, a, a gesture of good faith, I'll give you half the story that I know about BTC. But you'll get the rest of the half once you fix this Litecoin. So I made a bargain with the devil, so to say. They seen the money, the amount of money involved in that BTC dump is like $213 million dollars worth the Bitcoin that was involved in that scam. So again, I'm going to advise you guys, these guys are going on the trial for money laundering, negligence, negligence, open manipulation of the books, which is coming soon, uh, theft of, of people's uh, coin, outright theft, where they just decided, well, nobody claimed it, so we're going to take it. No. That didn't have to be claimed. That was a gift to somebody. All they had to do is fi finish registering their account. That was already claimed. Okay, They know full well that coin that they took out of there wasn't theirs. If, if you give somebody a gift and they don't open the gift, that doesn't give the right to the person you bought the gift from to go in and take the gift back and put it back on the shelf and sell it to somebody else. Whoever heard of such nonsense going base? So again, max sensitive, many trials. One of them's very serious is money laundering. Get your coin off of here, save yourself the grief. These people are criminals. And it, you know who goes to trial for crimes? Criminals. And the rest of my case, you say they're not criminals? Then why are they going to trial for all this shit for? Sure seems to me that you know the last time I checked in the court, the only people that go into court if they're being charged with the crime, are criminals. I'm out. See you guys later. I warned you.